Hi, everybody. It's Honest John. Uh, I, I just got back from the Social Security office. I bought a new wallet a little while back, and when I was transferring my documents from one wallet into the other, my Social Security card somehow didn't make it, so I needed to get a new one. So I made an appointment on Monday and was told to come in at 12.30 today. And what I expected was a long, brutal afternoon of waiting around. So I brought a bunch of stuff to read. Well, I walked in there and there was a machine and it had some simple instructions and I got checked in and the machine gave me a little, little tiny printout and uh, it said, sit down, wait for your name to be called. So I went to my, found a seat and uh, started reading and I wasn't there five minutes before my name was called. Uh, maybe it was about three minutes. I read about a paragraph and a half. So maybe it was even less than that. And then my name was called. I went up to this window and sat down. This guy looked at my ID and uh, I had my form filled out and I gave it to him and he did some typing on a computer and gave me a receipt and uh, sent me out and told me my social security card would arrive in a couple of weeks. I spent a total of maybe seven, eight minutes in the social security office. I was back home at 12.45 from a 12.30 appointment. That includes driving time and I'm in LA. That's also time spent looking for a parking space. So this huge federal bureaucracy that's supposed to be so inefficient really seemed to me to be operating real smoothly. I kind of wonder what my trip would have been like if I'd have gone there during the Bush administration. Now you might think, oh, I'm being all stupid and stuff, but think about it. The Republicans have a whole lot invested in the myth that government can't do anything right. So when they get in power, they do their best to prove it. So instead of greasing the wheels, they gum them up. Here's an example. The Clinton and Obama administration hired emergency management experts to run FEMA. No horror stories. Bush hired Brownie, a man without a clue. Stories that come out of FEMA are that they lost a tremendous amount of actual emergency management experts because they could not tolerate working under Brownie. So when the time came for FEMA to perform, well, we know all about that. You're doing a hell of a job, Brownie. Heck of a job, Brownie. Bush hired Porter Goss to be in charge of the CIA to succeed George Tenet. Now the CIA had already been highly politicized under Tenet and Goss was a completely political appointee. He had served on an intelligence committee. That was his experience with intelligence. Uh, he had, didn't really know how an intelligence agency was supposed to run. See, I've been on a passenger on an airplane. That doesn't mean I know how to fly one. And the CIA their record under Tenet and Goss was not very good. Even the people who were sent to Iraq to help rebuild were picked because they were loyal Bushies and not because they had any particular knowledge or experience in the area that they were supposed to work in. See, that's the difference between Democrats and Republicans. Democrats believe that government is supposed to serve the people. Republicans believe that it's supposed to serve them. Thanks for listening.